You are looking at the stadium that hosted the 2012 London Olympics and the current home of West Ham United FC in the English Premier League. However, this evening it will be the venue for Major League Baseball's return to London, England as the Chicago Cubs battle the St. Louis Cardinals. On October 28, 2007, history was made as the New York Giants took on the Miami Dolphins at Wembley Stadium. 2019 was the year that the MLB began to follow suit with the NFL, and they began at this very same stadium with a series between the Boston Red Sox and the New York Yankees. Tonight, after an unexpected four-year hiatus, baseball returns to the British Isles with a classic National League Central Division rivalry. The first pitch is just moments away, so let's go down to the field as history is made once more. Miles Mikolas, the starting pitcher tonight for the St. Louis Cardinals, 2022, 32 starts, a 12 and 13 record. Nico Horner leading off for the Cubs here this evening. And the first pitch from number 39 inside, 83 miles per hour. And this London baseball game is officially underway. We thank you for joining us. This will go fair. And that's going to be a double for Horner. Good start to this game for the Cubs. With the very first batter of the game. Let's take a look at the replay on that. You would think it would go foul, but no, it stays fair. And he takes advantage, goes all the way to second. And that'll bring up Dansby Swanson. .277 batting average. First pitch a bit high, but still inside the strike zone. The 0-1. Also in. And that'll be 0-2 as we take a look at the London Stadium here. Might not be entirely 100% accurate. But uh, it may be the best we have as this goes. Popped up in the left field. Caught. First out of the ball game. So as I was saying, it might not be completely accurate as we see the starting lineup. It'll be Ian Happ coming up next, Bellinger in fourth, Mancini fifth, Gomez sixth, Eric Hosmer in seventh, Patrick Wisdom in eighth, and uh, at the back, Miles Mastro Buoni, the last batter in the order. As I was saying for a third time, this stadium might not be 100% accurate to the real life London Olympic Stadium. I would know, I've been there myself in real life, but it may very well be the best we have on the Community Creations page of MLB The Show 22. The 1-1, as we restore the fourth wall here, the 1-1 coming to Ian Happ goes low, and that'll be 2-1. Outside, 94 miles per hour, Cody Bellinger on deck on this beautiful evening in London, England. The 3-1. He connects, sends it into right center field. It's going to be a chase, but it's going to be caught. And now that's two outs here in the first of three innings. We bring you from London Stadium. We'll be playing a three-inning game. Returning to our traditions as Cody Bellinger steps up to the plate. .210 batting average, 19 home runs, 68 RBIs. And a runner on third for the Cubs. That's, I believe, Nico Horner starting things off with an amazing double in this game. And that'll be a bit low, but still in the zone. It's one and one. One-one pitch connected. It bounces off for a foul ball. And now the one-two. Fouled away. One-two again. Popped up. This will be easy. 
Catch is made to take us to the bottom of the first, scoreless between St. Louis and Chicago. Starting pitcher tonight for the Cubs is Marcus Stroman, 25 starts in 2022 with a record of 6 and 7, 119 strikeouts, 36 walks, 138.2 innings. And I did better on that one than I did for uh, St. Louis's pitcher. Brendan Donovan will lead off for St. Louis, and right away it rolls right to the pitcher. He throws the first, although a bit slow, but it still beats him. And just like that, we've got the first out of the inning. Lars Newtbar coming up next for the Cardinals. Goldschmidt in third. Arenado in fourth. Contreras in fifth. Tyler O'Neill in sixth. Gorman, Walker, and Edmund in seventh, eighth, and ninth. Running through the uh, starting lineup pretty fast there, but you can see it for yourself. Or you could. As Newtbar now steps up to the plate. Connects here. But that's also going to be an out. And we've got two outs and two balls here. Not a good start to the game for the St. Louis Cardinals. Paul Goldschmidt coming up now. The former Arizona Diamondback. Was one of their biggest stars for many, many years. What can he do tonight with the Cardinals? First pitch. What a hit that is. And after two outs and two balls, the third ball is a home run. And by ball, I mean pitch, of course. I'm thinking of it in cricket terms. But Goldschmidt sends it away 398 feet the distance, 106.8 miles per hour, the exit velocity. And the Cardinals take the lead, 1-0, within three pitches. Could that be a bit of a... Uh, Something of foreshadowing. We'll find out as we take a look at the replay. Sent off, and I thought it would go foul, but it doesn't. It just barely stays in fair. Off to the steps in the grandstand, and now a 75% chance of victory for the St. Louis Cardinals. On Sky Sports, they'd call that win viz. And you can tell I've been watching the Ashes. Nolan Arenado at the plate connects fouled off flies over the open bullpen and I'd be careful if I were out there because you never know the 0-2 popped up into right field almost the warning track but the catch is made 1-0 St. Louis at the end of the first inning Back here in London for the start of the second inning. Second of three, that is. Trey Mancini leading off for the Cubs. And an amazing home run by Paul Goldschmidt off the first pitch of the at-bat. And the third pitch overall. To give St. Louis the lead, that goes foul. And now the 0-2 coming for Trey Mancini. He connects. And it'll bounce in left field. And the fans here are not very happy about that. They seem to have taken a liking to the St. Louis Cardinals. You would expect there to be an even mix of Cubs and Cardinals fans, but it seems that this crowd is quite one-sided, despite the neutral territory. And is this what I think it is? Looks like the end for Miles Mikolas, a bit of an early end. After conceding a single, Giovanni Gallegos will come in to the game. 57 games last season, 3-6 and six record. 59 innings.
And a new pitcher for St. Louis. We'll see how that decision pays off. Is it a wise move? Is it a stupid move? We're about to find out. First pitch to Jan Gomez inside the strike zone. Although, tending a bit inside, 95 mile per hour fastball. First pitch here from Giovanni. That's low, but still in the strike zone. 85 mile per hour slider. Ryan Helsley and Zach Thompson in the Cardinals bullpen to come in if need be if they make another pitch and change. The 0-2 to Gomez. Oh. On the frame there. Bit of a controversial call. And I would agree. That was most... That was probably a strike. But I get into disagreements with umpires quite often. That's a ball, and here comes the 2-2. Low, full count. After the 85 mile per hour slider, Eric Hosmer on deck for the Cubs. I think someone's got a drum in the stands. There's the 3-2. Of course, uh, British sports fans know to be quite rowdy. And we may see some of that here tonight. The 3-2 again. He connects. It goes off to the left. And it'll be caught. One out, one on. Here for Chicago. Eric Hosmer coming in next. Eight home runs, 44 RBIs, .268 batting average. Here's the first pitch in that uh, bottom right-hand corner, but it's a strike, or left-hand corner if you're the batter or the catcher. But from this perspective, inverted. Four-seam fastball goes outside, 94 miles per hour there from Giovanni Gallegos. One-one. Connects and bounces. And that's gonna be another chance here for Chicago. First, no, sorry, second and third. And now the Cubs in quite the advantageous position. They could take the lead or at least tie it up. They tie it up with a base hit. As we take a look at the replay there, Eric Hosmer with a double, pushing the other runner to third. And the win expectancy going up for the Cubs, but still in the favor of the Cardinals. That goes low. And Patrick Wisdom now batting. 25 home runs, 66 RBIs, .207 batting average. Here's the 1-0. In the strike zone, 87 mile per hour slider. James Kingsley, your home plate, home plate umpire there. You can see him. For this evening's game. The 1-1. Swing and a miss, going low, 1-2, coming up next. Swing and a miss, he's gone! Strikeout for Giovanni Gallegos. And perhaps the decision to bring him in will pay off. As we take a look at the replay, ball was just a bit high. And now the win expectancy going down again for the Cubs. As Miles Mastrobloni comes in last in the batting order. He swings the first pitch and misses. That goes inside. And now the 1-1. One, one. Connects, 
past the first baseman into foul territory and caught to take us to the bottom of the second. 1-0 St. Louis. Wilson Contreras up next. 88% chance of victory here. 12% for the Cubs. 88 for the Cardinals. They've got a 1-0 lead here in the bottom of the second. Again, we're only playing three innings. And usually that sort of thing ends in a tie. Not saying that it won't tonight, but... Or ends in extra innings, I should say. And there are no ties in American sports. At least in most of them. In most games. Although I believe a few years back there was an NFL game in London that ended in a tie. I'm not... Uh, I don't remember what year that was. This goes off into right center. And it'll put a runner on first. But as I mentioned at the start of this broadcast, Major League Baseball is sort of following suit with the NFL going to London here for the second time ever. It started in 2019 but was postponed. And the Yankees and the Red Sox played that first series as it looks like a mound visit for the Cubs. And Stroman is gone. Keegan Thompson coming in as the replacement pitcher. 29 games last season with a 10-5 and record. 108 strikeouts, 43 walks. At first glance, he seems pretty good. Let's see what he can do here tonight in London, England. And the MLB World Tour, this is known as. It will be expanding as the years go on. Beginning in 2025, the Stade de France in Paris playing host to a game or two, a series I should say, but it isn't the first time that MLB has gone international. You'll recall the opening series in the Tokyo Dome for many years, then in 2014 I believe it was, they went to the Sydney Cricket Ground in Australia. So this is not unique, but I do believe it's, they've never been to London before, at least not before 2019. But that's as far as I know. This is only the second time, as I mentioned, the second series. And it's another great rivalry being renewed, as it was the Red Sox and the Yankees in that inaugural series. But they opened up big, most definitely with the greatest rivalry in baseball. And as I continue to ramble, it's a 1-2 count for Tyler O'Neill, And the 1-2 pitch from Keegan Thompson goes low over the plate. 92 miles per hour. The 2-2. Two -two. Two. That'll be a full count as it goes low and outside. Nolan Gorman on deck for the Cardinals. Reaches for this one, sends it foul, stays alive in the eighth pitch this at bat. And the eighth pitch overall for Keegan Thompson as well. The first batter he's faced. This will be a walk. Two on, none, none out. And it's looking pretty good for the Cardinals. It's looking even better than it has after that Paul Goldschmidt home run in the first inning. Now we sit in the second. None out, two on for the Cardinals. Nolan Gorman. 14 home runs, 35 RBIs, .226 batting average. The 0-1, swing is checked, and the umpire calls it a strike. And here comes the 0-2. In the strike zone, he's gone. 
Nolan Garvin strikes out the first strikeout for Keegan Thompson. And that'll bring up Jordan Walker. The rookie, it seems, with a batting average of .000. Check swing again. Umpire calls it a strike on the first pitch of this at-bat. And to make your debut in London, England, of all places, should be quite the experience in the stadium that hosted the 2012 Olympic opening ceremony which in my opinion may very well be the greatest opening ceremony in Olympic history go back and watch it after you're done with this please do because it was very it was such a historic moment and it's hard to believe that this year it'll be 11 years gone and it'll be Paris in 2024 we'll see what they can do and we'll see what we can do as we cover those still have to work things out there though the one two coming to Walker he fouls it off and stays alive That's outside, and it was going a bit low as well. 90 mile per hour cutter here for Walker. The 2-2, he connects, and now it'll be a double. Oh! Throws too high! Throws too high! What an error that is! And it'll be another run for St. Louis. No replay on that, apparently. And that's got to be quite embarrassing to make a mistake like that. Tommy Edmond. Now to the plate for St. Louis. First pitch is inside. The 1-0. Breaks the bat. Catch is made by the third baseman. Two outs. Well, the leadoff will come back up. Out on the very first pitch in his first at-bat. Brendan Donovan, number 33, here for the Cardinals. Two out, two on in the bottom of the second. First pitch a bit high, but it still stays low enough for strike one. The 0-1 fouled off, 0-2. And here comes the 0-2. Connects, and it'll stay fair, most definitely. And now it's gonna be quite a scramble for the Cubs defense. Thrown to home, he's safe. Four nothing, Cardinals. And you could say the game's over here. But we say anything can happen on the Beagle Sports Network. But the chances of it happening seem quite low. Cardinals 4, Cubs nothing. As we bring baseball coverage back to the Beagle Sports Network, this will go foul. We'll be back with you on July 4th. And then that following weekend, uh, July 7th, July 8th, something like that, as we bring you the All-Star Game a couple days early and the Home Run Derby. And then starting that same week, we'll have Friday Night Baseball from then until the end of the season. This goes deep, deep to the warning track, but the catch will be made to take us to the top of the third. St. Louis 4, Chicago 0, live from London. Jordan Hicks coming in for the Cardinals. 35 games last season. On a beautiful evening in London, England. There you see the Olympic Stadium. It may not look 100% accurate, but it's what we have. Nico Horner. 
Well, now count to the plate for the Chicago Cubs. The leadoff back up, trying to turn things around. 4 nothing for St. Louis, and that almost hit him on the foot. First pitch here from Jordan Hicks, first pitch overall. And St. Louis brings in another new pitcher. This bounces and goes foul near home plate. Now the 1-1. One -one. Grounded right to the first baseman. He steps on the bag. And that's not the only display of heroics that Paul Goldschmidt has brought us this evening. That amazing home run on the very third pitch of the game with two outs. Gave St. Louis the early lead, which has catalyzed this 4 nothing scoreline with three more being added on moments ago. Dansby Swanson at the plate for Chicago. That'll be low, one and one, 95 mile per hour sinker. This is gonna be a bit of a dispute, but the umpire says strike. Quite a low slider there, but it is what it is. Check to swing, umpire says ball. The 2-2 pitch, swung on and missed. Swanson gone. It seems as though we are getting closer to the end of this game. Ian Happ, the last hope for the Cubs. And we thank you so much for watching this broadcast, bringing you baseball from London. The first time since 2019 that, it, that this has happened. And a lot has changed since 2019. A lot has changed since 2016 as well, if you know what I mean, for the Chicago Cubs. What a year that was. And for all we know, we may never see something like it again. But always remember the motto of the Beagle Sports Network. Anything can happen. Connects. Thrown to first. And that's all. Cardinals take the win over the Cubs in the London game. We'll see you with baseball on July 4th. But we've got more events coming up for you. We've got wrestling tomorrow, also from London. Until then, goodbye and good night.